Hi everyone, my name is Tristan and we're going to be doing a few videos on the topic of sepsis in children in the emergency department and this series of videos is really aimed at people who are new to the emergency department or new to somewhere with a children's ED uh, or maybe between two and five years into their emergency training but it's not aimed at people at the end of training and it's not aimed at fellows of emergency medicine or paediatric medicine, it'll be too basic for those of you who are at that stage. So even though this is a really basic and core topic, I actually found it one of the hardest ones to make videos on because the guidelines are just so varied and there's so many different things that slightly contradict each other. I found it really hard to dis distill those down to some common themes, but I'm going to try anyway. And what I want you to be able to do by the end of watching these videos is number one, have a simple tool to assess an unwell child. Number two, just understand some of the key differences between adults and children when we talk about severe infections and sepsis. And number three is outline your approach to an unwell febrile young baby or even just a febrile young baby who doesn't look that unwell. And the key points are really to take a lot of notice of abnormal vital signs. Um, and this is basically because sepsis can be really subtle in children. It can be quite easy to miss it. So you'll sometimes see more senior clinicians sending people home with abnormal vital signs. But I say if you're at the more junior end of your training and your career, then just always keep people in and get a senior opinion or a specialist review if a child has abnormal vital signs, with the possible exception to that being an isolated fever in an older child, which doesn't always need um, any further investigations. I'm going to go through the paediatric assessment triangle in another video, and this basically talks about looking at the appearance, breathing and circulation to work out whether a child is unwell, and I want you to just have those in your head. So appearance, breathing and circulation, those are the three categories you need to look at when you first look at an a child to see if they're unwell. The third key point is that fever in a young baby requires admission. Um, if they're really young, it always requires admission, and um, you should require some investigation as well, and I'll do a couple of videos on fever in young children just so that you can get that into your head. So the next videos we're going to do are uh, assessment of the unwell child, then we're going to do fever in the first four weeks of life, then we're going to do fever between four weeks and three months, and then we're going to do just a few pearls and pitfalls about sepsis in children. So I hope you enjoy these videos and um, look forward to doing the next one.